plus three at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's plus three. If I can get up to plus, f I think it's plus five before you need. I don't know it's plus. Oh, maybe it's plus four until you need the. Um, Uh, right, I'm pretty sure there's something up here as well. I thought there was. No! That's it, I didn't take any fall damage, but it was delayed. Go away, skeletons. Okay, I see that was running into something. Um, there's a the Vihander's down there, but I don't want to get it just yet. What's in that chest? Oh, really? I don't think I've ever had a skeleton follow me this far. Don't you need like a a weapon? Uh, what's it called? Blessed weapon to kill these things. Pretty sure you do. Like to, to keep them dead, anyway. Oh wow. Oh, now he's now he's started on me. I have to kill him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they come back alive. Maybe that was oh, didn't they patch it? Oh. I really don't know anymore. It's my whole the whole game's been flipped upside down for me. Let's get strength. Um, if I give this girl. Reinforce Essus. Plus one. So you can cheese him off the edge, you can just kick him and he'll fall off. So obviously you want to get your reward first. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he just sounds evil. Uh, yeah, that's his reaction when I'm hollowed. Right. So what I'll do is I'll turn human. And then we'll have a go at the boss. Why not? So we'll uh, not kindle. What am I doing? Uh, reverse hollowing. Because I've got three humanity on me. Should take one of them. Yeah. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, it's that big number two. Um, I don't even know what my character looks like. He's bald. Why am I bald? Oh man. Uh, yeah, I've, and I've got six there as well, so that's good. Right. Um, muscly bald man. So let's try this again. So I can get pretty sure I can get um Lautrec to help as well. Now I've saved him and talked to him. Pretty sure Solaire and Lautrec are there. Now I've spoke to both of them. I might be wrong. Um Yeah. So we'll see I suppose. I can't remember where either one one of them are. Uh, yeah, either one of them are. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um. Ha! It's too high. You can't hit me with that piercing attack. Ha! He didn't. See, that's why you shouldn't attack him because he parries when he's in that stance. So you shouldn't attack him. You should just wait him out. Or you can. What I tried to do is kick. You can kick him, uh, which gets him out of that stupid stance. What? No! Don't roll that way. Game's working against me. Oh my god! was hoping to do the gargoyles with full Estus, but hey-ho. That's what happens in Dark Souls. Stabby stab stab. Stabby stab. Get hit by an attack. Stab. Ooh. Two really fast reactions on this game, seriously. Stab! Broken straight sword, yay! Whoa, there's another one! It's... <laughs> I love the ragdolls. Ah, I'm gonna have to use another Estus. My god. Right, so eight Estus. But it's plus one Estus. So I'm healing for more. 
I've got a plus three great sword, not great sword, great sword, uh, long sword. I'm human. Pretty. Sure. Where is his sign? His sign's around here somewhere. I, I'm gonna have two helpers, hopefully, if I can remember, which makes this fight a lot easier. There it is. So if you save uh, Lotrek and your um, and you go talk to him, his sign will be here, and you're you need to be human. You can summon him for this help for the fight, unless you kill him, then you can't, obviously, because he's dead. Um, and then if you spoke to Solaire, you get Solaire as well. And did they change it so you can can only have one? Pretty sure you can have two. There we go. Yeah. So you can have both help, which makes this fight ten times easier. Well, two times easier technically because there's two people. Um, but yeah, I'd say yeah, it makes it so much easier. Praise the sun indeed. Right, let's go. Let's do this, guys. Army attack. Right, it's the first time I've been here, so it's going to trigger the uh, the cutscene, which I am not going to watch. He says, "What? I can't skip." Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Um, go on, Lotrek. You do that. Yeah. He's going to breathe fire. No, he's not. Okay. If you attack his tail. Which one? Which one uh, does? I could. Yeah, you could just literally stand back, and Lawtrek just owns. It, uh, sorry, Solaire just owns it with his lightning spears. Uh, that one breathes fire, so you can chop off one of their tails. I think it's this guy's tail, which I think. I'm talking louder because the the thing is very loud. I'm not going to bother with the tail because I'm not going to use it. And because Solaire just owned it for me anyway. Um, see, like, like I said, this fight just is like ten times easier if you want to um, just get help. Look at that, easy. I didn't use any Estus. You get twin humanities um, from them, just in general, because there's two of them. And then you also get the medal if you uh, use Solaire. I don't think you get anything if you use. Um, Lol track. But yeah, so if you're struggling with that fight, that's the easiest way to do it. Just hollow up, uh, sorry, hollow up, um, human up and um, and uh, get help from both of those too. And you could just, you could literally just stand there and watch them fight, and they'd they'd either kill them or at least get them very low that you can just go and cheese them off with one hit. You know, easy. And that is the first bell of awakening rung. Easy as that. Ding dong. And there's my achievement, because it's the first time I've done it on Steam. It's the last time I played. It was on um, Games for Windows Live. I think it was. Was it? Yeah, it was. Games for Windows Live. Jesus. That was a long time ago. And this guy appears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can buy um, things with breaks curses. Uh, yeah. You can also buy Karmic Justice as well. Which I'm not entirely sure what that is. 40,000 souls. It's a miracle. Auto counter versus heavy damage. Uh, Velka's Talisman, which you use for miracles, pretty sure, and then boost bleed resistance, and yeah, the poison resistance is actually quite useful because obviously we're going to go down into Blight Town, which is, which, is why, which is why I think the developers put this guy here because you can get curse breaking stuff as well because there's a few curse stuff inside of Blight Town. Is there basilisks? There's basilisks, which are curses. And then you also get, you can also buy the ring, which increases uh, boosts bleed resistance because a lot of them do bleeds, and poison resistance because they do um, they do poison, big poison down in Blight Town, really Blight Town. Best looking place, but uh, most annoying. Right. So I'm just going to quickly run back. I'll probably cut to where I'm at. Filing shred. Right, 
back of Phylic Shrine. Um, I'm going to try and get this. So you can run and jump off there. Ooh, hoo -hoo. And then you can run up here. And then I think there's a soul or something you can get up here. So you can keep running around. You can jump off there to get that soul on the top of the uh, top of the roof there. Oh no, to get up. Uh, this is how you get. So you get back to the asylum, which is I don't know where it is. Um, so you you can sit in the nest and then the nest the nest, uh, and then the uh, bird will take you back to the asylum, and that's where you can fight the asylum demon again or the bigger one. So oh, it's not a thing it's a key where's that key lead to oh sorry no yeah yeah that's the uh, yeah so you can go back to the end of the asylum with that key and you can get in the door which i said last time was locked and you can get the um the rusty iron key a uh, key a ring which allows you to move unhindered through like water and stuff which actually might be quite useful i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna show you um i'm gonna show you that now because um, you don't have to fight the boss there. So let's do that. May as well. So you just curl up like a ball, you wait for about two seconds, three seconds, and then it, it goes into a cutscene. It should do. So you pretend you're an egg, apparently, and then birds apparently carry eggs to places. I don't know the reasoning behind it. But it eventually does it. Eventually. Eventually. Come on. There we go. So yeah, you have to wait there for quite a while. So it brings you back, um, and there's people here waiting with torches, like I'm Frankenstein or something. Ow! <laughs> I love the fact that that you can go back here. Like it's just things like this in Dark Souls games, which makes it just a little bit more. Jesus. Uh, a bit more of a full game you know you've got like that history where you, oh this is where I've come from but it's like oh I can go back and the secret areas that I it's like got that Metroidvania feel which is uh, obviously a reference to the Metroid Prime and the Castlevania games where you go through and you see places where you can't get to because you, do, you haven't learned like you haven't learned a skill like yeah I've, I haven't learned how to roll under this like in Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime you, you learn how to turn into a ball and then you can roll around so I just hit like and then you can run round, um, roll round. Sorry. Uh, so it's like that. It's like you see this locked gate and you can't get through, and you're like, "Oh, I can come back and get that layer." So to fight the boss, you have to run into the center there, and it drops down. And then you fight the boss. But at this stage in the game, it's kind of suicide. You can do it, obviously. In in um, Dark Souls, you can kill any boss at any stage in the game. You know, you just need a little bit of. Uh, Skill. Ah, oh, I forgot about this guy. Right. Um, there's a guy ominously standing there. I'm just going to cheese him with the fireball spell. So, bait out an attack using this ability. Okay. Yeah, so this guy is a bit of a pain in the ass. You don't actually have to fight him. You could just cheese him like this and then run. Basically, I'm coming here so I get the. Um, cast iron ring, I think it's cast iron or is it something else, cast iron ring um, this guy oh, the guy you kill as well here he comes and gets you I forgot about that so it just makes Blight Town a bit easier because the bottom of Blight Town there's a load of poison water and when you run through water in Dark Souls you run slower Quite a lot slower, quite annoyingly slower. Uh, and if you're if you're getting poisoned because you're running slower, then you're not having a good time. Boat. So what you can do if you don't want to kill all these is just run through. So that that key that you found on top of that uh, sort of the thing in Firelink Shrine leads to this bit. And this bit, you see this 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 item when you first start. Rusted iron ring, that's it. You see the item when you first start, because you can come around here and you can be like, oh, okay, that's a dead end. And then you look up here, and you see an item. You're like, oh, I want to get that item. Um, you can't quite get up there. So this just sort of leads you... Holy crap. 
Um, why did I take my homeward bone out? So, yeah, down here is a dead end. I don't know why I'm running down here. <laughs> oh, man, that's 12,000 souls. 12,000 souls. Oh, I'm going to spawn in Filing Shrine. Da! Da! Um. <laughs> Rusted Iron Key is not worth 12,000 souls. Key, why do I keep saying key? Rusted Iron Ring. <laughs> do I have another ring? Oh, I do, yeah. Ring of Sac oh, I could have put a Ring of Sacrifice on. Another trucker. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly get it. So I'll probably speed through this. And we're back. Took a few attempts, uh, managed to pick him up, but then I died again. Um, uh, you probably saw that. Um, so I just sort of paused the video and uh, did it off, off camera because it took a while. Uh, so actually, I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I think I've got a decent amount of footage to do a couple of videos with now. Um, uh, yeah, so we managed to kill the uh, the gargoyles this episode. We did a bit of the lower and dead berg with the dragon. I didn't get the drake sword, but like I said, I'm just going to level up this weapon instead because it scales a bit better. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the videos, because um, obviously there's more than one, and I will see you next time. Like and subscribe if you, uh, if you enjoyed the videos. See you later guys.